Hey dolls and friends, welcome back and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new here, my name is Amber Mashon and I do weekly DIYs and hauls. If you're not new, hey doll, hey. So in today's video, I have some Christmas DIYs for you, but they are Kirkland dupes. And I'm telling y'all, I love how these all turned out. I truly think I have outdone myself with these round of dupes. I really hope you guys do enjoy it. Honestly, I think you are going to enjoy it. So if you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up as it definitely helps out my channel and its growth. And if you're new, love what you see, but also love everything home decor, DIYing on a budget. I would also love if you would consider subscribing and hitting the bell right next to it so you're notified every time that I upload. All right, dolls, let's go ahead and jump right in. The first up is this gorgeous pine greenery and berries oval candle runner, but $70 was out of my budget and I knew I could recreate it for like a, just a few dollars. So from Dollar Tree, I have this happy hunting bucket that you can get during Halloween along with some gem stickers. Then I'm going to use my black acrylic paint from Apple Barrel that I picked up from Walmart. After everything is painted and dried, then I took those um, stickers and just place them on the middle of the bucket all the way around. The one from Kirkland's has like this line in the middle of it. So I thought using these um, gem stickers would do the trick to mimic it and this is what it looks like once i'm done now i have three of these hurricane vases from the dollar tree two of them are the same height and one is a little bit taller so i'm going to take some of those um small square like wood pieces from dollar tree and just hot glued a few of them together to get the height that i wanted uh, so they could be staggered in height then i poured some white sand into each of these vases and then i have an assortment of greenery that i'm going to use but first to close up those gaps that i have around my vases i have this mop head from dollar tree or this dust mop head or something from dollar tree and then i just cut it in half and just kind of stick it in there it kind of looks like gives it a little snowy effect but i just really like it. it it acts as a really great filler then i just cut down my greenery and place it in there until my eyes are happy and then i you can put candles in here or fairy lights but i just keep playing around with it until i'm happy and i really love the way that it turned out i think it's so so pretty definitely gives it a really good run for kirkland's money i tell you it probably cost me maybe about five dollars to make everything i had pretty much on hand but I really, really love how this turned out. Breathing air that clears my mind. I'm all for a good start. I hear the single. Next up, I saw this gorgeous Noel sign. It was $40, so pretty. Definitely the colors I'm going for for Christmas this year. So from Dollar Tree, I have this Love Each Moment sign. I got it a while ago and I have not used it yet. So I just pop out the back. I thought I wanted to use the front, but I couldn't get the paper off. Someone told me how to get the paper off, but I was just kind of like in a, in like a, not a daze, but in just the crafting like zone. <laughs> so I just turned it around, took off the little tooth hanger, sand that down and then I gave this a uh two coat paints of this timeless gray color from apple barrel this is what it looks like after i'm done but i also taped off the middle section of it because i'm going to give it a white border and i'm using my white chalk paint from waverly pretty easy to get this done just you know clear off the front of the sign i put some brown craft paper on it and then i painted it then i went to my cricut and used cardstock to um cut out the words the word noel so i have the letters here i'm just kind of scraping off um, with my Cricut tool and I just I, the size I think I did was about two inches um, all around for the um, the letters just in case you wanted to remake this yourself so after everything was done and my paint was dry I removed my painters tape and it's just perfect lines I absolutely love it and then I just arrange my letters the way that I need to and I use super glue gel to adhere all of my letters I've been loving using this super glue gel um, after that's done I just put it back into the frame and this one is done so so pretty I absolutely love this and like I said these are my colors this year for Christmas and I think it is gonna go really well with my decor young, and that's why I want to sing about so this
this video is also in collaboration with a bunch of talented ladies here on YouTube. The name of this collaboration is called Duping Through the Holidays and it is brought and hosted by Brandy over at the DIY Struggle. Now you guys know that I love making new friends here on YouTube so when she reached out to me a few months ago asking if I wanted to be a part of this I said yes because it already fit into my Christmas crafting schedule. So I will have the playlist in my description box below so make sure you go ahead and check that out. The other fun thing is we are doing a hundred dollar gift card giveaway in this yes $100 for one of you special viewer and subscriber out there so what you would do in this giveaway is each creator will have a question in their video all you have to do is comment on each person's video with the answer or question now you have until Wednesday November 10th at 11 59 p.m. that is when Brandy will be choosing and drawing the name and we will announce it Thursday November 11 so make sure that you have that notification bell on so you know if you have been the lucky winner all right dolls let's go ahead and get back to the diys next up we have this really pretty three-tier wood shelf like a crisp shaped like a christmas tree i absolutely love it and i really really want it so <laughs> instead of paying 60 dollars for it i'm gonna use dollar tree products so i got three of these triangle shapes from dollar tree and what i'm going to do is use my miter saw bucks to cut these down so i first just measure it out and i just you know I take my pencil to trace out where I need to cut it. Um, it's best to cut it on the back side like I'm doing here. I attempted to try it on the front side, but it was just too hard and it doesn't fit in the box at all. So that's why I had to do it outside of the box. But anyways, after I cut down just two of those um, pieces, um, then I am just going to sand those down so I can get some nice clean edges. Then I pop out the back of all of my trees. The reason, I mean, my shapes, the reason why I didn't pop them out before is because I needed to make sure that it was the same, like, it had the same line to cut down. So then I'm just gonna paint those white. And I did two coats of white for that. And then I used this burnt umber acrylic paint from Apple Barrel to color, to paint the trim color, <laughs> to paint the trim of the triangles. Now it's time for me to assemble everything. And I am using my handy dandy super glue gel. You can get this at Dollar Tree, y'all. I'm telling you guys, it's the best. I just put it on the top of each of those um now tree parts <laughs> and hold it together you're gonna have to hold it there for just a few minutes just to make sure that it holds and it stays then i use some hot glue to put down my triangle pieces that i covered the back side with some brown craft paper and this diy is almost done so for my stand i'm going to use some jenga blocks as well as this crafter square wood like plaque piece so i just hot glue two rows i think i did five of each of these or four of them to get the height then i just took my waverly chalk paint in white and gave this one good coat of paint after that was done i decided to hot glue it right the tree right directly on top of my stand but then i wanted to sand down the stand just a little bit more to give that a little bit of my farmhouse flair and charm to it i absolutely love that i gave it this little extra touch because it gave it just so much more that it needed and that's it for this diy absolutely love it and I had half of these things on hand. So I really only spent $3 on this because I didn't have these triangle pieces. But if you want to do this, all you're literally going to have to spend is 5 bucks to do this. So, so easy, y'all. And it's so gorgeous. Celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling. And it's snowing. It's the time of here again. I'm happy you're here. My winter. Next up, I saw this Peace, Joy, Believe sign. I love this. I love the colors to it, but still has that neutral kind of tone to it. But 40 bucks, I knew I could spend just a couple. So from Dollar Tree, I have this canvas. It's really cute. I love the front of it. So I'm going to save like the front side of it. But I just took my utility knife and just cut down the canvas off of the MDF um, a frame. I thought this was actually a wood frame. Most of them are when you cut the canvas off. But but this one was MDF so no biggie though so after I 
took everything off. Then I took this home sweet home sign that I got during um, spring and I'm going to place my frame on top of it because I need a backing for my sign to live on like my my graphic. So I traced that out. Then I took my utility knife and a scoring knife and I just kept scoring across the trace lines until I got it completely off and completely broken. Uh, it took a little bit of time. It looks like I'm doing it quickly here, but I took my time because you guys, I cut my finger one too many times already and I'm just not trying to do it again. What is my favorite holiday to craft for? Christmas, of course. Love it. And that worked just great. Then I just kind of broke it apart and it gave me the, the perfect kind of square. If you have anything hanging over, just use some scissors and cut it down. Then I took my ink chalk paint from Waverly and gave this two coats of paint to get that deep black color. Then I took this hazelnut color to paint my MDF board. So it looked a little bit more like wood and not like cardboard. So after that, I print or I cut out the phrase peace, joy, believe. I kind of, I made this actually on my own in design space. I tried to search for a image, but it wasn't bringing up anything with this phrase. So I made it myself. I will um, show a longer tutorial and a later DIY, but after I weeded everything out, I'm using stencil vinyl too. And y'all, I finally got my expressions uh, transfer tape. So I got that opaque one and ugh, I'm so happy that I got this. It works like a charm. It's so easy to use. So anyways, once I put my transfer tape on top, I then peeled away my stencil, put my stencil right in the middle of my sign, made sure I had my measurement right by putting my frame over top of it, and then just smoothed it all down. Now I'm using this white, green, and red color all acrylic paint from Apple Barrel and Folk Art. And so I'm just gonna paint those words white and then I'm gonna paint my greenery green and my berries red. And I did two coats of this. Um, it was It's not as thick as chalk paint, so I wanted to make sure that it showed through. But honestly, if you wanna do one coat, it'll give it that nice farmhouse weathered look anyways. I thought about taking a sanding block over the whole sign, but because it's black chalk paint, it, it'll show up. And I just didn't want those scratchy streaks around it, if you get what my drift. But yeah. So anyways, once I was done painting everything, then I just let it sit to dry and then removed my stencil. And it looks so, so good. It's so, so pretty. I had a little bit of bleeding, but that's all right. And I just weeded out anything else that I needed to get out and try to wipe off any excess bleeding with wet paint that was there. Um, and it turned out pretty good. Then I just hot glued down my frame right on top. And it's so, so pretty. I really, really love this. And I love just the little pops of color that it gives. It's so, so pretty. small talk with people that pass me by I share a Next up, I saw these gorgeous lanterns on Kirkland's site. I mean, they have gorgeous lanterns, period. But I knew that I could make this in no time and with no budget. So I made a set of them. So I got my dowel rods from the Home Depot. They were only, they were less than a dollar. And then I'm using some wood planks from Dollar Tree, some wire jute, some wood beads that I picked up from Amazon, and my antique wax paint. So this is the dowel rod. I wanted to give you a close-up look of it. So just pause it if you want to look at the sizing of it and then all I did was just I eyeballed it really I didn't measure out the length of this lantern I literally just was like okay this seems long enough <laughs> so I just cut that down I sand those down to give me a nice smooth edge and bottom and top of them and then I'm going to take um my wood planks and those dowels and paint them using my antique wax color. So what I did um, is I used a chippy brush to apply this. It made it a lot easier. Um, and then I just took a rag and kind of wiped it down a little bit, wiping it all the way around. So that way I can get it to, you know, be a little smoother or spread. So this is everything that I'm using um, to put this lantern together. I only painted one of the wood planks on both sides because only one is going to show at the top and the bottom. The one that's not painted on the bottom is the 
part of is the bottom part of the lantern so then i use my super glue gel to attach all of my wood dowel pieces to the four corners of this first plank and you guys i will not ever stop what what am i trying to say i'm not i'm going to always sing the praises of this super glue gel because it is the truth i'm telling you it sticks long term it doesn't give you gaps like hot glue and it just yes even though you have to sit there and hold down something or put weight on something for it to stick but it stays y'all so after i did the bottom of my lantern now i'm moving on to the top and doing the exact same steps for the top of that plank the next thing I did is took eight of these craft sticks that I got from Walmart and I'm going to measure them out. The reason I didn't paint them first is because I just wanted to make sure that this is what I was using because I was originally going to use some paint stir sticks, but they just, it, it didn't flow well enough. It was too thick and it, when I cut down the edges, it was just too serrated. So I used these and I just measured what the length of um, one side of the lantern is and I just cut it down with my scissors and then trace the other um, sticks the exact same way. Now that everything is painted, it's time for me to assemble my craft sticks on my lantern. And I just do that with some hot glue. You can do it with a super glue gel, but honestly, I used just a small amount of hot glue that it didn't have any gaps for me. It, it was just fine. And I did this on the top of the bottom, which is why you need eight craft sticks to go all the way around. After that was done, I also painted two of the small wood cubes from Dollar Tree. So I am going to fish through uh, my wooden beads with this in this wire jute, basically. So, and I use the wire jute because I'm making this my handle. And the wire jute is just a lot more stable and secure if you were to pick anything up. And then not only that, it holds its form. So that's why I did that. And I don't really know how many beads I use. I just kind of measured out what looked good to my eyes, how tall and how wide I wanted my, my handle to be. So once I had all of the beads on there, if there was any wire sticking out of either side of the end bead, I just cut that down. Now I'm gonna take those um, wood cube pieces and then hot glue them directly on to the bottom of that first bead and then hot glue. Actually, I didn't use hot glue. I used super glue gel to um, adhere the wood beads, I mean the um, wood cubes onto the top of the lantern just so I can get a really good hold and it stay on there. Now I probably should have used the super glue gel on the bead too. So if it comes apart, I'll probably do that. But that's it for this one. I made a set of them and they are gorgeous. I absolutely love them. Just decorated them with some of the Dollar Tree um, florals and other things. It's so, so pretty. I really love this set. All right, dolls, that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you head over to that playlist so you can get more Christmas Kirkland dupe inspiration. All right, dolls, be blessed, stay safe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Y'all hear Isaiah? My husband just left and he's been following him around all day. So, let me go get him. <laughs> you better now? Yes. You want daddy? Hi. You can turn it off now. That was his one job he wanted.